What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and if you're looking for a new campaign setting slash adventure, I'm sure you want one with a lot of content. How about one with a thousand plus pages? What if that adventure slash campaign setting covered levels 1 to 15, had an optional fourth book, oh by the way, did I tell you that thousand pages is over the course of three separate books with an optional fourth adventure book? all of which can get you priced for around the price of a standard D&D &D book, around $70. How about 50 plus maps, miniatures, STL files for a variety of terrain, voice acted dialogue scenes from these adventures available to you, as well as soundtracks for in-game ambient sound or combat? Well, that's all contained under one Kickstarter from the team at Tomb Guardians. The folks that brought you Curse of the Usurper, Book 1, Trouble in Havdir, well, guess what? All three books, the entire Curse of the Usurper series, is now available on Kickstarter. Here it is. As you can see, it has a funding goal of $10,000, which it has tripled at this point with 27 days left to go. Plenty of time to back it. You'll notice a bunch of names on here that have playtested or commented on it from folks like Ginny D, Man Shorts, Crit Crab, Bob World Builder, Gallant Goblin, Dungeon Dudes, Treant Monk, Warlock, Tricky Fox, myself now included on that list. A whole bunch of people that his opinions, I'm sure, in one form or another, you take into consideration. Again, it is one of the largest adventures ever written. It's over a thousand pages. Let's see what we get. By the way, you can click this link right here. And it'll take you to a starter encounter. This is for free. This is, I think, 32 pages, which you can see these like QR codes you see here. You can scan these and they'll take you right to something like this, which if we were to play is a soundtrack. This is one of the, this is Tavern's Bane Freighter, which I think is what this one is. This kind of historical, just kind of ambient sound. I don't know what the timing of this track lock clocks in at, but again, for free, okay? And then, oh, we can continue through, and you can see you have obviously all of this background about the curse of the usurper. This is the section you're talking about right here. That's the name of the game, right? This is similar to the death curse in a way that uh, soul, souls can't reach kind of final resting places. There are some nuances to the curse though. For example, revivify still works to bring people back from the dead because it's before their soul left their body, which I thought was an interesting little tweak on that. Uh, and then again, oh, that was this music. And then this adventure hook, I think that's this one right here. You have traveled near and far, oh, here you go. seeking treasure, opportunity, and adventure in the port city of Havda, an ancient dwarven settlement. So you could read this box text as yourself, or rely on the voice acted scene to just do it for you while you maybe prep something else or you go get a drink. They can just listen to the, the tune here. And then again, we kind of just dive into an encounter here. We have a variety of different people, the different vessels and things. Here's, you know, sea captains, different NPCs, catching rainbow snappers. We've got like a little fishing encounter here with, again, soundtrack uh, you know, voice or acted dialogue here. Again, you can also see they have everything spelled out very nicely, like where it says loot. It is very clearly spelled out. And then again, look, we even have an audio dialogue cue here for inside the chest. Uh, within this chest is a small rolled up piece of vellum. Unfurling it, you discover it is some form of treasure map with a large X. Again, this could be read out loud by a voice actor or by you as the DM, your choice. Again, like I said, one of the things I really like is they very clearly spell out where you're looking. You don't have to go hunting for treasure or loot. It's very clearly spelled out for you, which is something that I really appreciate. So again, this is all available for free. Uh, you can see Bob says right here, three 5e book campaign for the price of one, which is pretty accurate. So we have the three books here. Again, the whole Curse of the Serper series spans levels one to 15. This first book here is, again, uh, Trouble in Havdir. This is, Havdir is a port city, so you're going to get some lore. You're going to get a lot of shops, and actually I really like they have an entire section in the back here just dedicated to the shops found within the town. And if you're like me, you love a well-designed city. And a shop-like section that has 
not only the shops themselves, but it also has like their inventory and the pricing for the variety of things that they're selling, which I really appreciate. Let's see if I can find one here for you. Um, so I really appreciate that as well as again, tons of maps, magic items, quests and quest hooks. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. This is, so this is Freya's fantastical items, right? This is a little bit about Freya and her shop. And then it has basically this here. Let me kind of come back out and show you here. Um, this right here. If you can see that this right here and then this whole next page this is all just rolling tables for you to go ahead and determine magic items it says it's under the constant effect of a selective anti-magic field which prevents creatures from other than freya from casting magic using magical items in her shop this allows freya to display her merchandise without fear that someone will pick up a dangerous magical item and attempt to use it to rob her Freya has the items of the following available rarity available, depending on the character's level. So we actually have a scaling based on the tier of the characters, right? What kind of, uh, oh, you know, the levels and how many she might have uh, of common, uncommon, rare, very rare, and possibly all the way up to legendary magic items. Um, and then again, there's some tables for you to roll on to determine kind of what she has in stock. And that's just one of the shops. And I like I said, I do appreciate that there's also pricings and things there which is nice because we know magic item pricing is something that is severely lacking in 5e so that was book one trouble and have dear book two is dark lands of laskel this is a sort of frozen north tundra area and very much like a 40 days of night slash real world kind of alaska where it's dark and the sun doesn't shine for half the year this one rightfully so has a bunch to do with vampires and vampire lore and vampire encounters which is cool and lastly we have lost minds of shaikel which is a mega dungeon it speaks for itself we also have curse of the usurper innocent in still echo this is a supplemental adventure this could be dropped into this anywhere between when the characters are level five or six or just into your existing campaign and it deals with diving into kind of uh, a prison, an underground prison, and possibly dealing with the various groups within said prison. Uh, also, all of these provide you the shard tabletop, every tier here, the shard tabletop online, uh, the BTT version of this for absolutely free, which is just, again, you're not going to get more bang for your buck out of this than any, uh, this is one of the best deals you're going to receive. They also are in the process of unlocking stretch goals, which they have done several already. You can get the digital only set of three books for $35. For $73, which is one I'm telling you is one of the really the real one of the best deals, you'll get the three books, the digital versions, the PDFs of all of those, and the virtual tabletop version for $73. With the recent increase in price of DD 5e books, this is essentially the price of one brand new book, except now you're gonna get three plus PDFs plus virtual tabletop support. For $103, you're gonna get everything we talked about, except you're gonna get a slipcover case for those three books. You're going to get pre-generated character sheets, blank character sheets, a DM screen, and a set of dice. For jumping up to 153, you're basically going to get all of that along with uh, miniatures designed after, again, the unpainted miniatures that are going to go along with these six pre-generated characters, as well as 400 plus STL files for printable cam uh, terrain, as you can see here, which is just ridiculous, right? I mean, 153 bucks, you're getting three books, the case, the DM screen, the digital versions, miniatures, virtual tabletop, 400 plus STL files, a ton of crazy stuff here. And it keeps going up. You go up to the next tier, you're adding in more stuff to this. You're going to have, uh, let's see, the stat cards to provide a variety of different things, as well as 35 campaign monster miniatures, which is 28 millimeter and then 125 millimeter usurper. And then obviously things keep increasing adding more and more all the way till you get up to the $1,500 tier, which is going to provide you with all sorts of unique benefits here, which the book, you're going to get a zoocyte uh, stone dice collection, you know, all sorts of specialty stuff. And then again, we see a variety of stretch goals that have been unlocked for STLs for props for the game, additional side quests, more to be unlocked. The next one's going to be a tower here, uh, you know, wizard tower, 10 story wizard tower, which is pretty cool. And again, more stretch goals to come. As you can see, they're padded out for quite a ways here with plenty of time left to unlock those. 
As far as delivery, it looks like the digital version is set to be delivered in April of 2025 with potential physical delivery sometime around the June timeframe of 2025. So consider that when you go to back this. There is a link at the top of the video description that is a tracking link that will let them know you came from Nerd Immersion. It will also be a pinned comment. A huge shout out to Curse of the Usurper uh, for 5e for sponsoring this video. It is... Without a doubt, I think what I can say with with definitively the best bang for your buck for a Kickstarter campaign setting and adventure. You've got a whole bunch of content, a bunch of miniatures, all sorts of supplemental stuff, and it's all basically for a relatively low price in comparison to anything else you're going to get from Watsy or otherwise. So definitely worth your time. I mean, you can't argue with three books for $73. At a, at a clock in total of around a hundred or, you know, a thousand pages. So anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions on Curse of the Usurper in the comments down below. Again, I also do have the first book as well as a PDF version. If you'd like to see more content on this particular book, let me know. and We can maybe do some videos on it in the future. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.